Hello everyone. As always, I am so glad that you have joined our lesson today. Today we're going to be talking about non-pitched percussion instruments. Hmm. Those are a lot of big words. So let's talk about it. First, let's focus on the word non-pitched. What does the word non-pitched mean? Well, non-pitched when it is applied to instruments is an instrument that does not have a definite pitch. A pitch is like a high sound or a low sound. So an instrument that is non-pitched does not have a definite high sound or a definite low sound. Next, let's think about the word percussion. Now you might be thinking of examples of percussion instruments in your head. But actually, an instrument that makes a sound when it is struck, shaken, or scraped is a percussion instrument. So anything that makes a sound when it is struck, shaken, or scraped is a percussion instrument. Now let's get into some examples. Today, first we're going to talk about the hand drum. Now, the hand drum is just a drum that is played with your hand, but usually, as you can see in the picture, it is shorter than a drum that you usually think of. A hand drum is any type of drum that is played with a, with a bare hand rather than a mallet or a drumstick. Now, drums have many origins that date back to ancient times, so we're not really sure where the hand drum actually came from. The hand drum sounds like a regular drum, but it's kind of a little more hollow. I'll play it for you. So I have a hand drum here with me, and I'm using the base of my palm on my hand, and I'm hitting the edge of the drum with my hand. So this instrument makes noise by hitting your hand on the face of the drum. So I'll do it again. Can you echo my rhythm? I'll play a four beat rhythm and then I'm gonna give you time to echo it. So I'll go first and then you follow. One, two, ready, go. Your turn, my turn. Great job. Let's move on to our next non-pitched percussion instrument of the day. The rain stick, let's talk about the rain stick. So a rain stick is a long hollow tube that is partially filled with pebbles, beans, or beads. Sometimes there are pins inside of the tube so that, so that the pebbles make more noise when they fall down. And usually rain sticks are made from cactus, which is really interesting to me. I didn't know that. Now the rain stick comes from South America. It has a South American origin and it sounds like, well, rain. I guess that we probably knew that since it's called a rain stick. Um, when you use a rain stick, you turn it over and all the pebbles fall from one side to the other. And it sounds like this. Now some rain sticks are smaller than others. So the one that I have right now is pretty small. It's about a foot long, but there are rain sticks that are really, really long. So I will show you again how this sounds. So you can play the rain stick with one hand, you can play it with two hands, you can also shake it. So I would like to see, can you echo my rhythm? I'll give you a four beat rhythm and then I'll give you time to echo it. So my turn first. Awesome job. So our last instrument for the day our last non-pitched percussion instrument is a set of rhythm sticks. So I know that we have played with these in class before, um, but I wanted to talk about them anyway. So rhythm sticks are plain or notched wood sticks that you hit or rub together to make a sound. 
So it's kind of like a scraping sound or it can be a very short, um, sharp sound. This instrument has an African origin. It comes from Africa um, and you can hit them together or rub them together. So they have two different sounds um, that we can make with the rhythm six. I'll play it again. This is when I hit them. And this is when I rub them together. So I bet you can guess what comes next. Can you echo my rhythm? I'll play the rhythm six first. I'll play a four beat rhythm and I want you to echo it. Awesome job. So lastly for today, I wanna to ask you, what non-pitched percussion instrument can you find around your house? It's okay if it's not technically a musical instrument. It's okay if you don't have a drum set or a tambourine or something like that in your house, but what non-pitched percussion instrument can you make? It might be a jar of mayonnaise that you find in the pantry and if you take a pencil and smack it on the lid, that's a percussion instrument. It might be a chair and you can tap the chair. If it's making a noise when you strike or shake or rub it together, then that's a percussion instrument. See what instrument you can find and bring it to the jam session on Friday at 11 a.m. All of this information is in my Power School page for you to look at later. The jam session will be on Zoom and it is open to all of second grade. I'm very excited for it and I hope that you can come. So coming up next week, we're gonna talk about some of these instruments. I'm not gonna tell you what they are um, because I want you to come and listen to next week's lesson when we talk about more non-pitched percussion instruments. As always, thank you for tuning in. I'm so excited to see you on Friday and I hope that you have a great rest of your week. Bye.